For sheer visual appeal, Holi is probably the most spectacular festival on the Hindu calendar, and it's certainly the most exuberant. While it's best known for the vivid dye that eventually covers all the participants, it's also associated with particular dishes, and we're about to be presented with a selection. Coinciding with the arrival of spring in India, Holi is also known as the Festival of Colors or the Festival of Love. Dating back to ancient times, it combines thanksgiving for a good harvest with a time to forgive and forget, mend broken relationships and generally have fun. Look at all these vibrant colors all in the celebration of the festival of Holi. What are we cooking today, Vani? We're going to be making a mixed vegetable kachori. So the first thing I'm going to do is just mix all the vegetables together. Some paneer, baby English spinach puree, peas, some carrots, some mashed potatoes, and our green beans. Zach, you're gonna give that a good stir and break that out while I'm going to make the tatka for it. My pan's heated and I'm gonna add in my ghee and that's going to melt just a bit. And I'm going to add my cumin seeds to that. And you just want to let it cook a little bit, just a little bit pop in, and just so the oil is released and then ground coriander, cumin powder, some deginich, and I'm going to give that a good stir. There is nothing like the aromas of spices cooking. It is delicious and it makes your taste buds tingle and your mouth starts watering. So I'm gonna add some garam masala, some ginger garlic paste, and I'm ready for your mixed vegetables. all of that in and you just want to give it a good stir and mix as well so it's nice and dry and to this I'm just going to add a little bit of salt for flavor and you do want it to be dry as well because with the kachori it'll wet the dough and everything will seep out and this is ready so I'm going to leave this to cool down while we make our dough. I'll pass you the mixing bowl. Perfect and then the cake flour. So all it is is some flour and I'm going to add some celery seeds to that. And all I'm going to do is just crush that between my fingers. Why do you crush it? It releases that beautiful earthy smell. Mm. And a little bit of salt. And I'm going to pour a little bit of the water, little by little. And you just want to get a nice, soft, workable dough that looks just perfect, so I'm going to set that aside and let's use the dough I've made earlier. Some flour, please. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take this dough out and add a little bit more flour to this and just roll out. And you want this dough to be nice and thin, but not too thin or too thick. And then just keep lifting it and giving it shape and let it come back together to its original shape. Zach, can you pass me the cutter, please? And all we're doing is we're cutting some circles out. So, Zach, I want you to do that for me and then I'll bring the filling closer to us. That looks good. So all you're going to do is just press out just gently just to make it come back into shape. And it's a little filling on the top. And then all we're doing is we're bringing it together into a little parcel. And just seal them up together and then we're pressing down. There you have your kachuri. I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, let's you try and I'll get your filling and press out just gently. Okay, there we go. And you're filling in the center. And remember, bring it all together into a little parcel. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And then just squash it down. And just squish it down and then press. Yeah, that's good. Let me get the basket. Great. You want to gently put that into the hot oil and let that come up. So once it starts coming up, you know that it's starting to cook and then you're going to keep turning it, mixing it so that it keeps its color. This is good. Let's take that and just onto some kitchen towel just to absorb that excess liquid. And I've set out a plate. And you're going to just pile them on and then I'm going to just drizzle some garnish 
and some coriander. That's looking beautiful. And let's move on to our next dish, which is Golgappa in a spicy tomato salsa. So for these, I have some chaat masala, onions, cucumber, and tomatoes. Zach, while I put these ingredients together, can you please squeeze me some lemons? And chop me a little bit of coriander, please. Sure. And then I'll start making the salsa. Some onions, cucumber, and some tomatoes. Some chaat masala. How are we doing with the lemons there? All done. We don't need too much lemon juice, just a little splash and a little bit of that coriander. That's great. Just a little of that. Perfect. So our goal got those little pockets and then we're just going to knock it with your finger. Just a little hole. You don't want too big a hole, otherwise it's just going to be all over. Just enough to fill your pockets with this filling. This is literally some of my favourite Indian food. It is delicious. Would you like to try one? Yeah, of course. And this is a light dish that your guests can eat as they party, literally. <laughs> don't mock my hole. Very pretty. It's a little gulgapa flower. Now to accompany this, I am making a rose and green cardamom lassi. Zach, for a lassi, you need hung yogurt. So in goes the yogurt. And I do like using hung yogurt because it's nice and thick and it adds that creaminess as well. About a half a teaspoon of the cardamom, a spoonful of white sugar and the rose syrup and that's what makes it all that yumminess. <laughs> Please pour the milk while I blend. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's our lassi done. That thick as well? Yes. Wonderful. And then, and then we're going to add just a little bit more of the rose syrup, just a little swirl and a little sprinkle of the cardamom. Would you like to taste? You are so sweet for asking. I would love to taste my favourite drink in the world. This is divine. The cardamom is my favourite part. And it's very refreshing mm. as well. So while you sip on that, I'm going to get our kadai paneer ready. And I'm going to add in ghee. And then just let it melt a bit. So to this, we need some dry spices, which is cumin seeds a pinch of coriander seeds, some two dried chilies. I'm just going to break that in, easy. And turn up that heat. And I just want that to fry, let all that beautiful flavors be released. A little bit of ginger garlic in. And at the same time, in goes our red onions. And because it's our holy festival, I've brought in some beautiful young spring vegetables. And then I'm going to add in the peppers. And I just want that to sweat a little bit. What does it mean when you want the veggies to sweat? Just to cook gently, but not to go overcook. So you just, it'll be nice and crunchy as well. So I'm going to add in some coriander powder, browned cumin, a little bit of deggy mitch, just for that little spiciness, and some turmeric. And saute that out for about three to five minutes. And then I'm going to add a good gluck of the white gravy and some yellow gravy. What is white and yellow gravy? White gravy is cashew nuts that's been cooked with yogurt. And yellow gravy is the same cashew nuts cooked with yogurt, but it's also been thudkered with some deggy mitch and some turmeric. And then I'm going to add some chopped masala. Chopped masala is like tomato chutney. And this is going to give us our body in our dish. I'm going to add a little bit of salt just for seasoning and for taste and that's going to just bubble away for a minute or two and then in goes the paneer and we are almost done with our dish, our tomato concasse and a good pinch of julienne ginger. The ginger will bring out that beautiful fresh flavour to this dish. And then I'm going to add some coriander. But all I'm going to do is just tear them into this dish. Zach, can you pass me the kadai so we can plate this? 
and you want all those sauce as well and the beautiful vegetables. And to accompany this dish, I've made some Romali roti. And Zach, can you set that down, please? Vani, thank you so much for preparing this holy inspired feast for us with so much love. I've been itching to try one of these. And? Spectacularly flavoursome. Zach, it's been my pleasure cooking with you. In appearance, aroma and flavour, the dishes evoke the colour and energy of the festival. And they're all completely vegetarian. Chef 